Delightfully farmhouse flavored home chew. I've got a special treat for you today, a delightfully farmhouse flavored home chew with Jennifer. The Midwest gal behind Delightfully Noted. She'll be welcoming us into her home and showing us around. The tour is full of beautiful ideas and much inspiration. I think you're going to love it. And just for my, all the aqua highlighted sections of today's tour are clickable links that will take you to Jennifer's site, where you can get more detailed information on the projects she is sharing, just peek around, or to follow her on social media channels. I encourage you to click around and get to know her so Shannon. Hello Fox Hollow Cottage readers. I'm Jennifer, the Midwest gal behind Delightfully Noted, the little corner of the world where I chronicle all of our DIY and decorating adventures. I currently reside in an 8-year-old colonial-style home in the Chicago suburbs with my hubby, 3-year-old son, and our stubborn but cute miniature dachshund, Briley. We moved into our house a little over two years ago and since day one I've been obsessed with transforming this boring cookie-cutter home into a space that better reflects our style and needs. I often refer to myself as the most indecisive person ever and therefore, I am probably the slowest decorator you will ever meet. I can't buy a piece of furniture or hang something on the wall without pondering about it for at least 8-12 months. Just imagine what it's like to leave me in charge of picking a restaurant to eat at or which move to see. Despite all of this, we have still managed to make some progress on a lot of rooms in our house and I'm excited to share them with you today. We're lucky to have a decent sized entryway and it's probably one of my favorite spaces to change up for the different seasons. We added some faux shiplap to the main wall a few years ago to highlight the vaulted ceilings. If you follow me on Instagram then you'll recognize my, possibly, overground aqua blue dresser. Delightfully farmhouse flavored home to farmhouse entry dining room decorating ideas to the right of our entryways our dining room, which houses our farmhouse table that my hubby built. Similar to a lot of rooms in our house, the dining room is a work in progress. We actually just added the board and batten and door casings right before the holidays and it's made a world of a difference to this room. We'll be ripping out the carpet and bringing in wood floors, adding more decor accents, and replacing the chandelier soon. Jennifer isn't bragging enough, so I am popping in. You guys, that gallery wall is gorgeous and she did it for under $50. She has a whole post walking you through how to create a botanical gallery wall, from finding frames, to getting the art and how to hang it. I've got empty wall space at the little cottage. So I'm taking notes. Okay, carry on. Two of my favorite makeovers to date happened at the back of our house, right off of our kitchen. First up is this boring hallway turned functional board and batten coat rack wall. We always leave and enter our house through our garage and this area now serves as our drop zone for coats and bags. It's been a real lifesaver. You can find the full tutorial over on my blog. My second favorite makeover was this unused office turned playroom for our kiddo. This was probably one of our biggest transformations to date. You wouldn't believe what this room looked like before. Decorating ideas speaking of kids rooms, our last stop on today's tour is our son's nursery. This is another space that is currently getting a fresh makeover. My little guy transitioned to a big boy bed over the holidays, so I'm in the middle of transforming this space into a toddler room with a few minor changes. Decorating children's rooms is where I feel most comfortable. I have a hard time figuring out what to do in kitchens and living rooms, but throw me in a kid's room, and my brain explodes with ideas. Well, that pretty much sums up today's tooth. I hope you enjoyed it. 